let's redo this Dollar Tree carrot sign and make it a little bit more mm, farmhouse. Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy, if you didn't know, and if you did, thank you so much for coming back. All right, so I saw this at the store and was like, oh, we can make this country super fun. All right, so the first thing I did was I took off all of the, um, I don't even know what it's, well, first I take off all the raffia bows. We're going to save those because we'll use them later, but then it's like tinsel almost, but it's orange, and it's just unraveling. It's not glued on or anything, so it's super easy. So take the orange part off, and then I also took the green part off. Now, I will tell you right now, I originally... I have told you this before, but I'm going to tell you again. Every project that I do, it is a surprise to me <laughs> how it works out as much as it is to you. <laughs> so um, I have this mat I got from Michael's. It was on clearance for six bucks. I was so excited. So I cut it apart into little sprigs and then I'm just gluing those sprigs on. Easy peasy. You're going to go all the way across and do it for each one. Put it as full as you want. Then, see, ta-da. Then what I'm going to do is take some jute and I'm going to wrap it around. Now, this is like a medium to heavyweight jute, and I'm just wrapping it around the carrot part. I originally had done this. This is what I was trying to tell you before. I had actually painted, like I put in a Ziploc, the jute and some watered down paint. It took forever for it to dry. So this way that I'm doing it, I'm just telling you right now, whenever I do a project, I get to show you the end product and I've worked out all of the kinks and made it a little bit easier. So there you go. So anyway, so you wrap it around, then cut the excess, glue it on, and then do the same on the bottom. And you do that for all the carrots, okay? Um, and if you're curious why I didn't continue in doing the dyed... <laughs> The, the dyed jute, it's because I ran out of it. And then I was like, wait a minute, I think there's an easier way. There likely is almost always an easier way than the first way I do something, <laughs> almost always. But anyway, so see, we're just gonna wrap, wrap, wrap all the way around. It has like these little pegs on the sides. Um, so I suppose you could kind of weave it back and forth, but I wanted it to have a little bit more of a fuller coverage. So there we go, so we have them all done. And now what I did was take some white, not white, orange chalk paint and water it down really well. And then I'm just painting it on. Holy Toledo, this was so much easier and so much less time consuming and so less, so much less mess. Ooh. So word to the wise. Now, if you want to dye it in a baggie and then squeeze it out and dry it, you go ahead. Me, I will do it this way from now on. And then in this, I'm telling you right now in the summer, I'm going to reuse the sign. So keep your eyes open because I have something planned and it's going to be awesome. But anyways, this was a super easy project. Once I figured out how to do, once I figured out the jute situation, I could paint it. Um, but then we're just going to glue on those cute little raffia bows that it was originally on the sign. Super cute. And then I actually added a hanger. Um, it looks like a ribbon. It's actually from my, my daughter got a new blanket and she gave me the ribbon from it. <laughs> that's, just, that's so hysterical, right? <laughs> Anyways, I love how it came out. It fits my decor much better now. Whew. Anyways, friends, thank you so much for watching, and I hope this inspires you.